Hello and welcome to another episode of the product inspiration series for SAP Intelligence CX. My name is Kati and today we will take a closer look at our industry tailored solutions. Therefore, we have invited Valentin, who is driving our industry product developments at SAP in Marses. Valentin, thank you very much for being part of our session today. Hi Kathy, of course. It's a great pleasure and I'm really looking forward to it. Sounds great. Let's get started. Today, we want to focus on the utility industry. As we all know, the industry is currently undergoing a huge transformation towards green energy. Utilities companies are faced with daunting regulatory, environmental, operational and technological challenges, while also having to meet ever increasing customer demands. Why has SAP decided to invest in modern customer engagement tactics along with SAP MRSs and what makes our offerings so unique? You know, in the heat of operational marketing work, sometimes we forget that our customers are not only our customers, but they use probably hundreds, if not thousands of other products and services across all sectors. So everyone now expects seamless, personalized experiences with every interaction. Utilities are no exception to that rule. For the utility, the customer is the center, but for the customer, the utility is just one more service they're using and it really needs to stand out and make a difference. And bringing in this level of truly personalized interactions is what we at SAP MRSs are best at. So with all the recent technological advancements such as smart meters, data analytics, lots of opportunities arise for utilities to better understand their customers and deliver personalized services. We at SAP MRSA strongly believe that modern customer engagement tactics in the form of automated end-to-end -end journeys play a crucial role in leveraging these technologies and enhance customer engagement and satisfaction. Because at the end of the day, it's all about engaging with the customers, meeting their expectations, staying competitive, retaining them, leveraging technological advancements and demonstrating commitment to environmental and social responsibility. All things that SAP MRS tactics can help with. Wow, that sounds like a perfect solution for marketers and utilities and um, energy companies. Could you please provide more details regarding the engagement tactics we have already developed and what customers can expect in the future? Sure. We work with some of the leading utilities companies to identify seven high value use cases and turn them into pre-built tactics that help marketers automate their engagement. Those include a multi-step onboarding journey that guides the customers and shows them what to expect before the contract starts, so they can get to know the portal, the app, and understand where they find their incoming invoices and make sure the customer satisfaction starts before the actual service does. We also have a set of upsell cross-sell tactics that advertise higher value products or another fuel in order to help the utility generate revenue. And since sustainability is a big topic, we have a tactic to encourage customers to move to a paperless billing or enroll in a sustainability program. Of course, there is also a contract renewal tactic to help with the retention and a power outage message to inform customers in time when they are going to be out of service and update them how and when it will be continued. So, as you can see, there are already a lot of engagement use cases marketers can deploy out of the box, but we won't stop there. We're currently working on pre-built segmentation and personalization based on the S4 utilities data scheme, which is integrated into MRSS to increase usability and make the marketers' lives easier. So going forward, we're also going to add more use cases to the tactics portfolio to deliver even higher time to value for the utilities customers. So stay tuned for those and more innovations. Okay, I'm really impressed now and believe our audience is too. With our pre-built tactics and SAP MRSS customer engagement, we always say we help companies accelerate time to value and deliver measurable business outcomes. Now, my last question is how fast and how easy is it to implement these industry tactics for utilities companies? Oh, that's very easy. After the data integration is done and all the systems are connected, all they need to do is select the tactics they would like to deploy, create the copies and the campaign visuals, and it's ready to go. Of course, we offer full flexibility, so marketers can also change the logic of the automation, the segmentation criteria, and other remove channels, and adjust all the waiting times to make sure the tactic is 100% aligned with their business goals and marketing calendar, of course. Let me show you how it's done. 
Let's start on the home screen. We'll now navigate to the menu on the left side, select Featured, and then Tactics. This will lead me to the Tactics repository, and as you can see, the seven use cases I just mentioned are ready to use. We categorize them as Acquisition and Conversion Tactics. Let's take a look at the Welcome Tactic. In order to deploy it in this tenant, we click on it, and this will present us with a dialog explaining what it is about. In this case, onboarding customers and providing essential information about their upcoming contract. We will also notice some high level steps that highlight what the automation is built to do. Selecting review tactic will trigger a process in which the system will check if the tenant is set up correctly for this tactic to be deployed to make sure we prevent any errors and then we will click on Create Tactic. The deployment takes up to a minute and will create this automation program already populated with segments, campaigns, time criteria and everything you need to get going. Here, every day, we check for customers who fall into the segment of sales contract start date in the next set time period. Now. Let's check how the segment looks like. We click on it and then we select Edit Segment. As you can see, the segment criteria here is set to 30 days. But you can vary as much as you want. So for example, I am going to select 90 days instead and click Save. Now this is already saved in our original tactic. Now for the more technically savvy among us, Let's go and check how this segment is built in the backend and where it gets the data from. Every utility segment has an underlying SQL statement, which is powered by the S4 Utilities integration with the Marsys. This one seeks to give us all business partners where the contract start date is below, for example, 30 days, or in our new example, 90 days. It automatically matches the business partner on S4 with the business partner on Amarsis, which we call a contact record. Let's run it and see if we can find a business partner. As you can see, we're presented with a sample of business partner IDs. We're going to copy this one and we're going to take it to S4. In our S4 system, we're going to open Utilities Industry, business master data, business partner, and then we're going to look for this specific one. And there he is. This is Mr. John Smith, and he is going to be one of the contacts who is going to get the email. Speaking of the email, let's see how it looks like in this specific tactic. Each tactic will come with pre-built email campaigns, which you can replace with your own designs or you can adjust according to your specific needs. To do that, we double click on the email node and then click on go to campaign. On the left side of the screen, you will find the email basics. Here you can define your subject line, your from name and also from your from email address. On the right side of the screen, you will see our campaign builder and also the campaign preview. Now, in this specific campaign, you will notice a couple of attributes in brackets. Those are going to be our personalization tokens, which we're going to build inside of the campaign right now. To do that, we will just highlight the part that we want to replace, click on the personalization icon and look for the personalization token that we want to use instead. In this case, the business partner number. We also have the contract account ID. We also have first name. And last name. Now, for the type of service here called Division, we're not going to have a ready-built personalization token. 
So let's just create one real quick. You do that by going on the left side and use personalization. Scroll all the way to the, to the back and then click create custom token. Now we're going to use relational data type of token since this is how we connect to S4. Give it a name, division, select a category, for example, utilities data, and then select a preset. Um, this information is stored usually in the ISU contract object. So we're going to look for the ISU contract. The correct field for this value is called Sparte or in the S4, it's displayed as division. And that was it. So now we click create, go to our campaign, choose the category utility data, and drag and drop the vision where we want to have it. Now we can finish editing our campaign and preview it for our customer business partner job. To achieve this, we're going to use the contact preview function, which you will find on the right upper side of your editor. Here we can type an email address of an example customer, which we want to see how the campaign will display for. In this case, we want to look for our John Smith and we click preview. What is happening right now is that the campaign, the personalization in the campaign is dynamically being populated, which means that it's being pulled on send time from the S4 system. And here, you can see the customer number is there, the account number is there, as well as his first name, his last name, and the division that we just added. So as your electricity provider is displayed as plain text. This is how easy it is to personalize in Amarsis. But now let's go back to the original program that we wanted to evaluate. So as we said, it every day selects all of the customers with a sales contract start date in the next, in our case, 90 days checks if they have participated in a similar program um, or not, and then it sends them a welcome message. After a three days period, they will send them another message, which is going to explain the payment plan. After a 14 day period, they're going to send them a customer satisfaction survey. Um, and then a couple of more days, we're going to check if they engaged with the survey or not using click metrics. And if they haven't, we're going to send them a reminder email. This is how usually a tactic is built. We're going to have a different sequence and a different, uh, different time periods between those sequences. So that in this specific case, the new customer is onboarded properly, understands the service, understands the status of the delivery, understands the payment plan and so on. Let's see what else is there. Let's go back to the tactic screen and check, for example, the contract renewal tactic. Again, we're going to download it, check what it does review the tactic and create it. In this case, we're checking every day for customers whose sales contracts are expiring in the next set time period. We remember that this is something that is very easily adjustable inside the segmentation builder. And then we will send them a contract expire reminder campaign, which we can see how it looks like in the template. It says your contract end date is approaching. And it has, again, all of the personalization that we would need to add, plus a couple of more tokens. So we'll have premise street, premise house number, premise city, and so on, as well as the sales contract end date. So this is something that we could uh, pull out from the personalization tokens that are already pre-built in the MRSS automation. So after seven days, we will check if the contract start date is in the future, thus if they have renewed. And if that is the case, great. If that is not the case, we will send them a reminder email campaign. And now let me show you how flexible tactics are. For example, we can add different channels. As you know, in the Marses, 
we say that we're omni-channel customer engagement platform, so we have a lot of channels that we can build into that campaign. In this specific example, I would like to include a second wave after the first seven days in which the contract has not been renewed. But the second wave is going to be on actual physical mail. And for that, we're going to include the channel direct mail. Let's see how it's done. First, we're going to take this part of the automation. We're going to copy it. And we're going to paste after here. So now, after the reminder email, we're going to wait for another seven days and check if the contract start date is in the future. Again, if yes, great. If no, we're going to add our direct mail channel here instead, which is going to ensure that the customer is going to get a physical letter in their mailbox with a new offer and the reminder to renew their contract. Last but not least, I would like to show you one more tactic. So we'll go back to the tactic screen and we'll talk about the paperless communication sign up. Now, this is a very interesting tactic since most of the utilities companies nowadays are trying to be even more environmentally friendly and environmentally conscious and asking your customers to sign up for paperless communication instead of getting their bills in their mail every month on paper is a great way to achieve that. So let's see. We're going to again review it and then create the tactic. Again, we're starting with an, a segment which every day checks for customers who haven't yet opted in for paperless billing and we'll send them an initial message with an incentive for uh, opting in. After 14 days, we're going to check if they switch to paperless billing, which is also a segment powered by the S4 in the backend. And if they have, we will send them a thank you message for supporting the environment. But if they haven't, we're going to send them a reminder. Now we're going to shorten the wait period and we're going to wait for seven days and check again using the same segment if they switch to paperless billing. And again, if they did, they will send, we will send them a thank you message. And if they didn't, we will send them a final reminder. Now remember the tactics are very flexible. So here you can have multiple waves of reminders on multiple different channels, which gives you full, full flexibility of how you want to create your paperless communication sign up. I hope you have enjoyed the demo and understood the value that Emarsis Tactics would bring to utilities customers. The repository is going to grow more over time. We're going to add additional capabilities. So stay tuned. Thank you. Welcome to the world of SAP Intelligent CX. Our comprehensive suite of applications seamlessly integrates front end and back end systems providing a unified and streamlined approach to managing customer interactions. We incorporate artificial intelligence that allows your team to work smarter and faster, and our industry-tailored use cases and partner ecosystem empowers organizations to deliver extraordinary experiences, build lasting relationships, and drive sustainable growth. Our composable SAP Customer Experience Suite enables leading brands to understand and protect customer data, increase lifetime value with personalized journeys, close more business faster, drive consistently profitable commerce outcomes, and deliver automated and agent-assisted service. Learn how you can deliver extraordinary customer experiences. Visit sap.com slash cx.